Can you turn on the lights on your left? How does it look? So the moral of the story, stay focused. focus uh, using a uh, different set of lights in this case more than one light uh, so you bring in the focus from the background to your face turning the two lights in the front now we added uh, the two front lights then in this case the back two lights that I have in one way I have a blue light and the other side I have uh, kind of a purple slightly light in the that, in that side there are two led lights uh so they're gvm led you can find it in amazon and then in the back here it's not on but i'm just going to turn it off now turn it on now is an orange light which is coming from a or uh, uh lump uh from a from a lump itself uh, this one here, the blue, what it's really doing is just giving color to the wall, which is white. You can see before in the other video that I recorded in the same place, is a white wall and the blue is just giving color to it and gives a little bit of coldness to it. Good thing with the GVM lights, they come with a set of gel col uh, of filters. So the GVM lights, they come with a set of filters. This are the LED lights. Uh, and then with the filter, you can change a lot the mood. As you saw, I just removed the blue filter from there so you see the whole area should be slightly brighter uh, there is no color apart from this orange lamp uh, but once you apply a filter on these two LED lights so it should look like this hope you face this is a blue one this is the orange one Does it make sense comes in many colors it comes in many colors really there is a uh, almost a full rainbow <laughs> that's the topic we always talking so if you look at our uh video uh the rainbow challenge that we did we use those kind of filters so these those filters are very handy if you want to make something commercial uh i use to color everything with them so i am a rainbow lover and that's one of my traits so now Ali has just added something like this a blue uh filter and this blue filter comes in different shades. So blue is a color that comes in different shades. Uh, but otherwise, it should be like four euro, roughly four euro. I'm not going to be so sure in the price. I'm going to check and put it down below when I check in Amazon. It should be very cheap, those kind of filters. There's tons of them. And then if you want a purple uh, filter here, it doesn't make it so, so bright. It kind of breaks the brightness a little bit. So this is the purple light the purple filter it helps you creating the illusion of purple light yeah so here are the filters you can even see that if i add it in front of the lens he also plays different things obviously it's out of focus but that's some experience for you to share so with the short introduction that we gave you already turning on and off the different lights uh, I just want to focus in one light for this video and tell you guys all about this one here and why this effect coming from above at some extent doesn't get me reflects on my glasses as well as why did I choose that light specifically. This light is just above me, uh, it's likely turned towards my face so if I look here you can see that it's straight away illuminating my face only. The rest is full of darkness, uh, you do to see these uh, results very sharp Try to make your room as dark as you can. So uh, one of the things you can definitely see when you're doing one light is the reflection coming through your glasses if you wear glasses, as well as seeing the kind of shadows you're using. So you're using a shadow in this case from top to bottom because you, you could use it very flat in the front, which I can show you in a second. And that will show you uh, my face uh, kind of more wider. Now we have a light slightly more in front of me, it's still from above, 
Does it look too dark? Um, yeah, it's darker. So one thing you can do if it's slightly too dark, you can change the aperture of the camera. Open it a little bit if it's possible. What is the aperture now? To be 2 point something. 2.0. 2.0. 2 yeah. So you can try in this case for this lens, which is a 50 millimeters, to put it down. So that's also controlling light but through your camera. Yep. So is it brighter? Yep. Enough? Um... If it's not enough, uh, 1.8 is the lowest. So, oh, reduce the speed, which it should be now 100 and something. That's the I wheel guess. in the front. Yeah, 100. Yeah, so put it down to 60. So if the speed is on 50, I'll keep it this way, and then I'll move it up for the ISO, which I think you just did a few minutes ago. You click ISO, and then you move it up. So the higher the ISO, the brighter the image. Yeah, so those are a few tricks which I'm not going to go too much in depth, depth, in depth, <laughs> in depth uh, uh, about it, but at least you know, can you just move the light itself uh, to to the front of, in front of my face, just to see the difference, yeah? So you see that all is kind of playing with the light in that case, and you see that it was slightly different when we just played it from the side to the other, pretty much from this side in front of me and now if he moves again yeah and put it back in place that's pretty much all you have to do so if you want to know more about using one or two lights and uh, if you have any cheap set of studio so it doesn't really matter which brand of lights you're using it really doesn't that we recommend, I will leave a recommendation down below for some of my favorite brands. Uh, feel free to have a look. I've used them in the past. Uh, then after few years, the material, as much as you try keep keeping that tidy and organized, it's very difficult. It breaks. That's reality of photography. Things get broken and you have to change. And because I had to change, I changed brands, I experimented. And I think this is the only way for you to know what is best for you. The most important here is to put creativity to place and make sure that with whatever you have, you can create nice images. So all this played around and uh, might gives you a different perspective on whatever message you want to convey, whatever the story start, storytelling you want to build up. So these little things really helps you to, uh, can you turn this last one? Uh, to build up a story. So building up a story with light is very complex. And for this, I'm gonna make other 100 videos, if not more. If you guys are excited about it as much as I am and tell you step by step how to build different sets of lights for different stories. So that's it about lights. Uh, there is a lot more to share. If you want to know more, please let me know in the comments down below. Also subscribe to our channel to know a little bit more. Hit this, the notification button. I have to exhaustively keep you asking you guys to let us know what you think, leave us feedback. In our website, you can always check uh, our content, our shop. Yeah.